Tonight, the saga continues over what to do with part of the Eastland Mall redevelopment. That's right. At the end of August, City Council had said that it was supposed to choose between two final proposals, deciding what would be done with the nearly 30 acres of space. Instead, Council asked City staff to come up with a plan combining the final proposals. They were given 45 days to do this, and tonight, time is up. Mary Calkins is live this morning with more on the project's developers and what they're working on to combine this and what decision could be made. Mary? Well, Naya, I can tell you for months we've been covering the debate over which sports facility will be built at the Eastland Yards development. Now, uh, City Council, they narrowed down several proposals to just those two final proposals, and it's something that has sparked debate between City Council, City staff, and between the neighbors themselves. Now, uh, this is going to be a major project built on the east side of the property. Again, down to two proposals. We have QC East, that's an outdoor entertainment space with athletic fields and a concert venue. And we have Eastland Yards indoor complex with soccer fields, basketball courts, an ice skating rink, and a hotel. Now there are differing opinions on which plan city council should choose. The Jobs and Economic Committee, they recommended the city go with QC East, but most neighbors are asking for the second option. That's the Eastland Yards indoor complex. The neighbors say it has something to offer everyone. Again, City Council has been drafting a proposal for the past 45 days that will combine the two ideas. Now, in tonight's meeting, we are going to get a look at it, and City Council could decide if they want to move forward. So we're going to be there, and we're going to let you know what happens. But for now, reporting live in Charlotte, Mary Calkins, WBTV, on your side.